a chihuahua with no prior training experience. To start, I conditioned Lily to the clicker by pairing a primary reinforcer, in this instance, soft treats, with a secondary reinforcer, a click. By pairing the clicker and the treat in succession, I'm giving Lily an association that she did not have prior. Lily's primary reinforcers were predominantly treats, but she also enjoys toy interaction and petting as well. Initially, I did not request any specific behavior when priming the clicker, since Lily did not have any previously known behaviors. I introduced her to the clicker just by clicking and treating in succession. We did this repeatedly over our first two sessions to ensure retention. And next, I wanted Lily to learn to focus on me so she'd be ready for more difficult behaviors later on in our sessions. The criteria was that she had to make eye contact with me to earn the click treat. At first, she was expected to pay attention for only a second at a time, and then we increased the duration to five seconds over two sessions. In our third session together, Lily began to offer a sit behavior with her attention behavior, which I started rewarding her for instead. Lily, come here, Lily. Now she's no longer being reinforced just for attention, but for attention with a sit. This is a appreciated behavior since the dog offered it free and voluntarily without direction. Lily found it was more comfortable to sit while looking up at me, so the behavior evolved naturally. Our next behavior we learned was to touch a target. This is my target stick. Lily is required to touch the red ball at the end with her nose in order to earn a click treat. She initially was afraid of the target stick and was hesitant to touch it. After one shaky session and a couple more confident ones, I started pairing the behavior with a cue. A cue is a verbal or physical stimulus control that is added to tell a dog that reinforcement is available if the correct behavior is performed. The behavior I want is a touch, so I will cue the word touch. Touch. After several sessions of this, the expectations of behavior changed, and she was required to touch the target several more times before receiving a click treat. We started off at two touches and gradually worked up to four touches over time with partial reinforcement. My schedule consisted of two for, three for, and variable ratio reinforcement based on the number of touches I expected from her on one cue. I will expect three touches from her before reinforcing this time. Touch. training sessions together, Lily would become agitated once a behavior entered the partial reinforcement schedule. Um, she expressed this frustration through vocalizations, whining, barking, and growling. I chose not to reward these behaviors and did not offer her a reinforcer when she vocalized, even if it occurred during a wanted behavior. In this way, I applied extinction, and the behavior drastically reduced over the course of our training sessions, although it has not yet completely disappeared. Another training complication we experienced involved around our sit behavior. After her sit had an established cue and was on variable ratio reinforcement, I started working on another behavior, down. We progressed quickly through our second behavior, but the farther along we got, the more her sit behavior began to degrade. She would start from a sit and slowly sink into a down when she was expected to hold the sitting position. After a couple sessions with this issue, I noticed she would, um, start from a sit position before I asked for a down. She connected the two behaviors and that's where the issue started. I began applying DRA, or differential reinforcement of an alternate behavior, where an undesirable behavior is replaced with an incompatible desired one. I stopped training for the down position and ceased to work for Lily offering it in favor of strengthening the sit. The down position we're working on at this time, I'm slowly introducing it, but in a way that will not compromise her default behavior, which is the sit. You can see her laying down now. Lily's next behavior started from a game I devised to break up our training sessions. Using the target stick, I taught Lily how to jump back and forth over a bar with the cue over. 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 generalized behavior, I used different obstacles in varying locations. The first jump we used was a barbell, and then we progressed to a broom handle, and now we have an actual jump. Since she already had a touch cue and was patterned to touch the target stick while jumping, I placed the target stick in a holder on the opposite side of the jump and cued her to touch it with touch. Pairing multiple behaviors with 
One cue is called a chain behavior. Karen Sanford, this is Lily, and this was our video project. Thanks for watching us.